Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Michael Keaton has broken his silence on the decision to axe $100 million blockbuster Batgirl in which he reprised his role as Batman. Keaton, 72, who starred as the superhero in 1989's Batman and 1992's Batman Returns, famously slipped back into the Batsuit for Batgirl, which was shelved in 2022 by the studio for cost-cutting reasons after costing $100 million to make. The star said he was not upset by the axe, saying, I didn't care one way or another. Big, fun, nice check, he told the outlet while rubbing his fingers together in the universal gesture for money. The Mr. Mom actor added that he felt bad for the film's directors, Adil L. Arbai and Bill Al Fala. I pull for them. I want them to succeed, and I think they felt very badly, and that made me feel bad. Me? I'm good. Batgirl was first given the green light in 2021 as part of a company-wide effort to create feature films specifically for HBO Max. It would have featured Latina actress Leslie Grace in the titular role as she battled Brendan Fraser's Firefly who turned to a life of crime after he is fired from his job, loses his health insurance and could no longer care for his sick wife. Warner Brothers spokesperson said, The decision to not release Batgirl reflects our leadership strategic shift as it relates to the DC Universe and HBO Max. Leslie Grace is an incredibly talented actor and this decision is not a reflection of her performance. We are incredibly grateful to the filmmakers of Batgirl and Scoob, Holiday Haunt and their respective casts, and we hope to collaborate with everyone again in the near future. According to those who have seen the now-scrapped film, Keaton's Batman was only featured in a few scenes, and did not serve as a mentor to Grace's Barbara Gordon, and the costumes were subpar. I'll say I'm not that surprised Batgirl got cancelled as it features a woke Latino Batgirl and Barbara Gordon in a story that sounds downright awful. Matt McGloin wrote for Cosmic Book News. The actor is now focused on his demented demonic anti-hero Beetlejuice. The long-awaited sequel to the 1988 film hits theaters in September, and the promo machine is in high gear. Winona Ryder returns as Lydia Dietz, but now she's mom to Jenna Ortega's Astrid Dietz, who has her own relationship with the striped-suited demon. Catherine O'Hara returns as Delia Dietz, while Monica Bellucci, Danny DeVito, and Justin Thoreau all join the cast of the sequel. A Beetlejuice, Keaton said, he's a thing. He's more of a thing than a he or a she, he's more of an it. And I'm not saying it to be politically correct, he said. I just viewed it as a force more than anything. I mean, there's definitely strong male energy, like stupid male energy, which I love, Keaton explained. You don't want to touch that because it's not like you go, well, it's a new year and this thing would now act like that. Beetlejuice Beetlejuice debuts in theaters on September 6th.